You know what? I feel like it's been a while. So come closer. Closer. More closer. Okay, not that close. Perfect. I miss y'all. But all I gotta say is get your snacks because we got a banger video today. So nowadays, artists be creating lyrics in hip hop so that they could please their fans and ultimately create a hit song. Well, there are a couple of exceptions where artists just do not care about their lyrics. If you understood those lyrics the first time you heard the song, then you need to grab a genius job application. There are also rappers who cap in their rap. Take my guy Lil Tecca for example. I got two twin Glocks. I don't have no straps for nobody. I don't got no straps. She know I got the Fanny Prado when I had Milan. No, I've never been to Europe or nothing. I like. That brings up the question, if you're a rapper, would you cap for an even harder song? Anyways, today we're here to look at rappers who portray a hard image but end up coming with some questionable lyrics at times. I mean, really, how sus can they actually be? So let's take a dive in. Quick disclaimer, I know many of these are out of context and I rock with most of these artists. Let's get it. Where I'm from, we call 30 sticks, not dicks. I take that back, cause if he get caught, we gon' give him deep it. Man, I don't care what anyone says, that shit was hard. I don't know if it's just me being a Lil Durk fanboy, but that sounded hard as hell. Anyone that Lil Durk slides on better watch out, because not only will he shoot you, but he will bless you with a good time. Pause, pause, pause. Next lyric. See my little daughter bad as hell and she ain't even five. Bro, that sounded so bad out of context. Shit got me wondering if rappers be even looking at their lyric for real. Young Thug. I'm convinced Young Thug has a whole compilation of sus lyrics. Like shit, feet, yeah, been gay, but I hope my career take me a long way. Oh, so he's referencing the Ben Gay cream. You know what? I'll let that slide. That's a hard bar for real. I used to want for my auntie. Damn, sorry, Thug. I don't know if I could defend you in this one. I don't know in which context this sounds appropriate. Free thugger, man, but the prosecution is rubbing their hands right now looking at these lyrics. Gonna. I have a daughter on buying a baby burger. For the good and got her legs hurting. I don't care. This song is hard as hell, but it's a matter of how you position your lyrics. That sounds bad. Logic. But we can talk about it. I suck a dick. Look at the bright side. He's not rapping about being biracial anymore, right? Famous Dex. Yo, bitch, not take her. I catch your bitch and I rape her. Huh? See, there's no way to defend this. Instant red flags, bro. You gotta call the police after this. Future. The only time I feel alive when I taste dick. What makes this more funnier is that the song is called Coming Out Stronger. Not to mention, I do remember Kodak Black calling him up asking about the lyrics. What did you say this part right here, bro? Feature got caught. Biggie. You look so good, huh? I suck on your daddy's dick. You know what makes this one particularly crazy? The older generation used to clown us for listening to rappers that aren't lyrically talented, but here's their favorite artist sucking daddy's NBA young boy. Can't wait to see this one. I'm trying to give my son some head. Why he want his own? If you get a girl to do this, she needs to be locked up. Second, I don't know how this makes you feel like an accomplished father. I watch my grandpa say penis. I could just imagine young boy just being in the corner of the room traumatized that his grandfather said penis. Okay, you know what? Let's shift gears into the most talented artists of our generation. The ones who are lyrically gifted geniuses. Kanye West. Damn, I heard you fuck that nigga well, I fuck that nigga too. Knowing Kanye fans, I know they'll probably listen to this bar and compliment his stroke of genius like it took him years to make. Eminem. So that's the secret to Eminem and Dre's music. You gotta take your hat off. J. Cole. I let you hit it raw, motherfucker. I know he's talking from a girl's perspective, but bro, you could have hit it ad lib talking about pause or something. Kendrick Lamar. Three niggas in one room. First time I was tossed. And Whoa, that's how you get down? Isaiah Rashad. No, I'm just saying. You know what, y'all? If there's anything I want you to take away from this video, is that even the most gifted artists slide in a couple questionable bars. After all, how would they know if their fans are genuinely listening to them? As long as the music sounds hard, feel free to say whatever you want. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. That concludes it. Please like the video, subscribe if you're new, and until next time, peace.